Buddha. One question. Um, suppose, suppose you heard um, a murmur, and it it's heard, say, down the apex. That's all you hear. Think of the aortic stenosis. As, and it, it's more likely to occur in a uh, patient with an increase in AP diameter. With that, it changes the harshness. Up here, it may be harsh, like, like we're hearing. But uh, if it's just that, uh, the most likely thing is aortic stenosis. And as a rule, uh, it's not a very, uh, it's not an advanced degree of, of stenosis. I don't know whether Bob knows this or not, but um, 68. Is he here, Dr. Harvey? Is he coming through in the back? Uh, uh, I, don't, I don't know what uh, type of valve this is, but 68, you'd better say most likely this is three cusp instead of two, because that it, it's a very. Uh, do you happen to know that, Bob? Was that three? Three. Yeah. Okay. Now let's go on to the second patient, another patient with aortic stenosis, 57-year-old man, and we're listening first at the second right. considerably more coarse or more gruff than the previous murmur. The last one had some of the musical or bleeding qualities to it. This one sounds just like Dr. Harvey suggested, that clearing of your throat. Ruff, ruff, ruff. Listen. Second sound is there, but it's faint. Second sound is present and faint. Most likely, at this age, we're dealing with the bicuspid aortic valve. I don't know whether you have that information. But um, you've run probably a 90% chance that somebody at this age would, would be a bicuspid valve, and also calcium would be in that valve, 100%. <coughs> Let's listen to the left side of the sternum. Some of the transmission of this murmur. This murmur goes up into the neck. You can hear it out the bony clavicle. You can frequently hear it at the shoulder tip, and sometimes you can hear it down on the tip of the elbow. Here you're listening to the shoulder. transmission can be one of the best transmitters of sound. See, we are, we are used to uh, listen aortic going down to the apex or up. Then we go up into the neck. Always remember, though, a murmur like this to go in, in the aortic area, then go to clavicle. That's bone transmission. And at times, the murmur is best heard there. Another thing that is uh, we paid attention to, <coughs> we thought that maybe it'd be a clinical sign that if this is aortic stenosis, the murmur would be loud on the right as compared with the left. But after going over 100, a murmur of aortic stenosis is just as loud, just as loud on the left side as it is on the right. So it had no 
it, it wasn't helpful that way, but the characteristic you hit on both sides. This is a so-called diamond-shaped manna that uh, is so classical. Second, second sound is oh, okay. Second sound is uh, is faint, but there, and I I wasn't listening real carefully for a diastolic murmur. So. There was none. Okay. <laughs> 